Hi, my name's Jess, and today I'm going to show you a simple tutorial of how to make an abstract Jackson Pollock inspired watercolor. Here's what you'll need. You'll need a set of watercolors. I'm using these kind of watercolors, but you can use whatever watercolors you find at your local craft store. I think I bought these for about $12, but there's cheaper watercolors for about $5, 5 $4. So free, feel free to use whatever watercolors you want. Next, fill find the cup. a plastic cup and fill it up with water. You need one paintbrush. Now I'm using a semi-thick paintbrush, but you can use whatever paintbrush you want. If you want to use a larger paint paintbrush, you can use a larger paintbrush. If you want to use a smaller one, you can use a smaller one. But I'm going to use that size paintbrush. Every different paintbrush you use will create a different paint splatter. For my watercolor paper, it's a 10 by 14 sheet. It's very fine watercolor paper. You also don't have to use this kind of watercolor paper. Whatever kind you can get at Michael's that's cheaper, a pack of watercolor paper I believe is about seven dollars. Um, this paper I'm using is more, I think it was about also want to do 14. this where you're not going to get anything dirty because it will make a lot of mess. So maybe do it outside. If you do it in the kitchen, put newspaper down so your mom or dad doesn't get mad at you for <laughs> making okay, a mess. Okay, so let's get started. What you want to do is you want to take your paintbrush and put a generous amount of water on your brush and then choose whatever color you want and you want to get the watercolor really diluted with water. Then, when your paintbrush has a lot of color on it, you want to do a flicking motion. Just like that. And you're going to keep repeating that motion. Wherever you want the color to go, you just adjust your body and you flick. And you keep repeating this process until you get something you like. So this is what I have so far. I'm going to stop because I I like how it looks. I like that there's still white, a lot of white. It's very minimalistic. Next, what you want to do, you don't have to do this, but to add a cool effect is you can pick up the paper to add a more drippy feeling. Pick up the paper and just shake it on the surface, which then gives that cool rain almost like a rain on a window effect. And there you have it. There's your abstract minimalistic Jackson Pollock inspired watercolor. Here are some examples of watercolors that I've done using this technique. This watercolor is all just warm colors. And it just made a very pretty effect. And if you look closely, I know it's hard to see on the camera, but you can almost see how the paints start mixing together. The yellow and the red making orange and the purple and red. It just makes a really cool effect. Here's another one I did of just all cool colors. And again, it has that really cool drippy effect and the colors mixing together. A light purple and reds, blues. And here's one of my first watercolors I made. See? So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial, and uh, this was my first tutorial ever, so <laughs> please be kind, and I hope you guys try it out, because it really makes a cool effect. Um, thanks for watching.